so let's get login into splunk here you can see that splunk has automatically picked up en hyphen us so what exactly this is so this is basically a string that splunk has automatically identified based on my browser setting so my browser language uh, right now set it to us that is uh, united states this is uh, this holds two identifiers here right or specifiers here this this specifiers the first one is called language specifier which is en that is english and the second specifier is called localization uh, specifier so similarly if you want to convert this into let's say a british english then it should be en hyphen gb capital gb now the next question is does it has any impact on splunk so the answer is yes let's have a quick demo so i am on en us right now so if you log in into splunk let's get in and let's let's quickly check the timestamp formatting that we have right now let's quickly check that and if i say index is equals to underscore internal okay and if we search it for let's say last 24 hours okay let's go for all time because locale and the language definitely has an impact on the very common thing called timestamping right so you can see that it is it is in mmddyy format right so now let me make this change to en iphone gb and then let's see how it has an impact so for this i'm going to use uh, this one let's quickly check that let's go here and let's run this one oops sorry it is automatically picking up the us let me just close it let's get this changed en hyphen gb let's run that again now you can see that we are on en hyphen gb now if we run that same search again right let's check that for all time now you will notice one difference here on the formatting look at that so it is ddmmyy so this is one of the clear cut uh, straightforward effect when you change your locale and your uh, uh, of course language right so now let's let's get into this that where and how splunk picks that, picks that up and if i want to um, save it permanently that every time my Splunk opens it should open on ENGB rather than on ENUS then where are and how we can achieve those so this is the manual uh, procedure now as I said that Splunk picks up the language uh, from the browser settings so we need to play with your uh, with with our browsers settings so that we can change our uh, settings accordingly so you need to go to the for example I am on Chrome so you need to go to the uh, these three dots on the right hand side go to the settings and under settings once you click it will take you to the language page or you can search for the language uh, settings here you can add your language if you want to like chinese you know or english and which which english uk english or us english so by default my browser is on us english let's say i want to convert that into uk right so i have to not only add but also I need to make this as a default so display Google Chrome in this language the moment you select this now whenever you open your Splunk like localhost 8000 the moment you hit enter it will route it automatically and pick it up automatically en hyphen GB earlier it was picking en hyphen US so it's a pretty straightforward setting that anyone can do so it is highly and purely dependent on our browser that's point number one and we also saw that how it has an impact on the timestamp formatting and all that now from if you if you talk about where it stores all that information and where it is getting all that information then we can check the path so this splunk stores under if you go to uh, splunk install directory python 2.7 lib and then site packages here you need to look for 
Splunk, under that App Server, under that MRS Sparkle, and then Locale. So this is the place from where Splunk picking up all the configurations. So these are all default predefined uh, locales along with their um, language, right? Now let's assume that you want to create your own. So this is a little tricky part. I would suggest do not do that directly on the production. Uh, use your, uh, of course, dev and test environments first. So we need to literally create a folder like this. This is the naming nomenclature that we need to use. And if I look at, let's say, ENUS, you will see that there is one another subfolders. We have to again create the same folder. And then this folder has two files, .mo file and .po file. So you cannot edit this with any, any software like Notepad++ or Notepad. So these can be opened or edited with the PO editor. So if you, if you look for what is PO editor, basically it's a shareware software, cross platform software, I would say. Uh, if you heard of get text also, it's an editor which helps us to process the language localization. So it is, it was written in C, C, uh, C++. Right, so we, basically we use PO editor to translate uh, any string that you want to localize. That's where it, it, it's gonna help us, right? So we need to, uh, it's, it's, um, we need to subscribe on PO editor and then we need to create a couple of files like this, message.po and uh, then message.mo. Message.mo file automatically get created from .po file because it's a uh, machine uh, readable version of the PO file. Right, so MO is the machine readable version of the PO file. So we'll not get into more into this, but this is the place where you can play with your and you can create your own locale and language. Right, on the get text, uh, we will add more links to that, but basically uh, Splunk uh, software uses as other software is also using. It's a very popular, uh, commonly used uh, uh, multilingual program or system uh, we call it get text so basically it, it is a internationalization and localization uh, system so it uses i18 n uh, uh, system or methodology so that's about the locale that's about the language um, see you next time hope you enjoyed this video